continue to honor Black History Month, today we shed the spotlight on Madam C.J. Walker. She's considered one of the first self-made black women entrepreneurs. Both she and her daughter were also big supporters of the arts and were key supporters of the Harlem Renaissance. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth gives us a look inside Walker's historic mansion in Irvington, New York. That's Madam C.J. Walker at the wheel. She drove her own expensive cars, plural, started her own hair care company, employed thousands of women, built her own mansion with every amenity. This is her mansion in Irvington, New York. Normally people don't get a chance to go inside, but we're taking you in, fantastic. Can you imagine in 1918, the reaction in the neighborhood when people found out that this was being built by a self-made millionaire who was a black woman. How'd that go over? It was a story in the New York Times. Madam C.J. Walker began life in this shack. Listen to her great-great-granddaughter, Alelia Bundles, describe her. She was orphaned at seven, married at 14, widowed at 20 with a daughter. And so Walker, born Sarah Breedlove, whose siblings and parents had been enslaved, put down roots in Indiana and then New York, making a fortune marketing her own hair ointment. Well, you can see the original tin, a, a poster of the original tin behind me, Madam Walker's Wonderful Hair Grower. It was 50 cents. People didn't bathe as often, and they washed their hair even less. She was losing her hair. But Walker's homemade salve made with sulfur and petroleum jelly healed her scalp, and her hair grew back. This is original? This is original. This is a, a full-body shower. A woman who lived more than half of her life without plumbing designed her home with multiple luxurious bathrooms. This is from the this 1980s. Is wild. Walker's mansion had many bedrooms, bathrooms, and a custom organ which piped music around the house. She had a custom sink in the pantry, refrigeration, even floor hookups for a central vacuum built into the house. This is the theater, the way you make an entrance. Walker would have been even richer if she didn't pay her employees so well. And Madam C.J. Walker's story continues. Her great-great-granddaughter, Alelia Bundles, has written a book about her. Out of the cruel crucible of racism and sexism, Walker built an empire. The original influencer who took her problem, solved it, sold it, and became an American hero who lived fearlessly, taking the wheel in her own miraculous life. In Irvington, New York, Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.